Everyday superpower, where we talk body language, non-verbal communication that is, we talk relationships, game, everything in between. This is one that is easier said than done, but it's ever so empowering. It's a law of power to be fair with you, and it's to disdain that which you can't have, okay? We will apply it in a dating sense, but I don't see why we can't apply it to the materialistic sense and, you know, the worldly sense and so forth. Do you know that there's this ever consistent principle that you can't chase women? I mean, pursuit is not necessarily the worst thing in the world because it can work out in your favour if you've got good game and a nice na uh, mouthpiece and all of this stuff, but <clears throat> if they aren't giving you attention, if they aren't trying to pursue you or, you know, go out of their way to elevate you in their presence, then don't you worry about it because they are irrelevant and they don't even exist. This is going to be some good game on this, I can already tell, right? If you see a beautiful woman, yeah? And you think she's probably out of your league. Already you're losing. So think to yourself, instead of me placing myself in some subordinate position beneath this woman who is supposedly out of my league purely because... She starves herself every day, lives off of packets of crisps, yeah, and goes to the gym every once in a while. Because that's the reality of it, right? That's how we men perceive things. Oh, she's so drop-dead gorgeous, she's out of my league, yeah, even though we're grinding our asses off doing the most, and yet we perceive somebody who has just got a genetic gift or low body fat and we perceive them as something more than us which is absolutely pathetic and you need to acknowledge that if we see that pretend they don't exist they don't exist in my world and what you do in doing so is accepting let's say let's say there's a bit of honesty there you're in acceptance of this woman who may have a higher degree of value in the marketplace, per se, than you. Why wouldn't she? If she can acquire a man who has got better resource and stability and gifts that you don't have, right? What's wrong about being a realistic person and think, all right, it's no, no doubt she'd pick the next man because I don't have what she's used to. I don't have what she's after and I don't have what she is very well aware of being able to get from the next man yeah who is of a higher status and stature than I am that's realism that's reality right so what you do is you just pretend they don't even exist because why would I spend energy why would I even have a moment to care about that which doesn't care about me. I am investing my focus and I'm quite literally burning calories in consideration of a woman who doesn't care if I exist or not. So to me, but then she doesn't even exist. And when you apply that for whichever way, maybe you do so in a means of discontent you know, the red pill rage sort of way. Whether you do it in that manner, fuck like that, like, got no time for her, she, she won't have time for me, so I don't care. Or whether you fruitfully acknowledge it as the reality of biological nature, or on and done, that is the most powerful response you can actually have in relation to potentially attracting her and women alike. Ah. Because such is divine balance, there is always a counteracting measure to your behaviours and actions. So if you disallow 
that person. If you are repulsed by the idea of manifesting wasteless thought, a waste of thought and time and energy in a person who doesn't acknowledge you, you can create the counter opposite as to where they perceive you as somebody of value in relation to the men they know they can pull anyway because they're thinking even these rich men, even these men who have got this, that and absolutely everything on planet earth, they still treat me like I'm beautiful, they still treat me like I'm gorgeous and the best thing that's ever happened in their life and how sad is that? Because I know who I am, I know where I come from, I know what I have to offer and it's not what they can offer me because they can offer me a hundred thousand times what I offer them whereas this guy I wonder who he is because he's not even given me a second look I've spent three hours this morning perfecting my image and my appearance today such as I do every day I've spent the best part of my life learning how to apply my makeup in a particular fashion to allure men and I get it off of them 95% of the time each and every day and this guy just does not care about me. Who is he, you know? So, it's incredibly powerful. Disdain that which you cannot have. It's irrelevant. I don't care. I do not care. Like, it doesn't exist in my world. Yeah? If I don't believe in something, if I don't agree with something, if I don't like somebody, it makes no sense for me to waste my time pondering and going through the emotional turmoil. of dramatizing it all in my mind i've only got finite energy and i might as well invest my focus and time and attention into something that makes sense and manifest something that is to which is beautiful and makes sense to me i know my value i'm in complete understanding as to why others wouldn't perceive me as valuable at first glance in comparison to what they have been told holds value but the biological reality is they soon realize where i hold my value the moment they disappear from my peripheral if you're the most beautiful woman in the world i'm not gonna look at you because i don't care i don't care do you think that i mean where do you start where do you start it takes more than that to impress me yeah if it doesn't aid my life if it doesn't garner me the results i want in my journey and my mission if you can't aid me in that way other than looking good i'll value you the way you should you ain't got what i got it's a necessity that I have to be number one. And if you feel that you place yourself above me for the pedestal you've been placed on by the general population of male beings, I'm not going to acknowledge you because it means nothing to me. And in doing so, what do you do? Not only do you lead her and put yourself above her, but you lead and put yourself above that 95% of men who have pedestalized her since day one when she was born. You see where I'm coming from? And she'll desperately try to get your attention. Hello, I'm here. See what I mean? Movement attracts attention. Get you into some non-verbal game. In the peripheral of your eyes, you will see her move. And create theatrical, symbolic movements. In order for you to look at her. 
because she craves that attention, that's the currency in her realm. And you can understand that and say, I thought you were after someone else. You see where I'm coming from? They stay in that which you can't have. I'll leave that one on that one, yeah? On that note, I'm signing out. I'm uploading each and every day, so click like and subscribe, you know how to do. Two links in the description, one's my catalogue of body language. Over 220 videos of how to read people through their nonverbal behaviours. It's how you read minds. Second to that is the Patreon, where you'll join me in watching dating footage of real people. I'll break down the attraction and the repulsion body language. No matter where you are on planet Earth, you'll acknowledge and absorb that information and see it manifest in your space because it's hardwired in all of us as human beings. And on that note, I'm signing out.